fish, baby. Good morning. Welcome back to Life by the Bow. As you can see, it's been a little while, but we're here. We're back in the center console, and today we're doing offshore fishing. We're about to catch some live bait. If we can make that happen, we're gonna head offshore, and we're gonna see what we can find. We're gonna look for some mahi, gonna do some deep dropping today, and uh, kinda just get in the groove, see what's going on. It's been a little while since we've been offshore in the Keys, so, Hopefully today we have a very successful video. So let's get to it. Brand new cast net here. This is a 12 foot, 3 8 mesh Betts Murata cast net. My honest opinion, this is one of the best cast nets that you can buy. And as mentioned, she's brand new. So we're gonna put her to work and let's see if we can fill her up with some pilchards. Here we go. Oh, we actually got a decent amount in there. Check that out. Doesn't seem like a lot, but there's... Like five in there. <laughs> so we got the bait, and I gotta tell you something. Even if we don't catch a fish out there today... At least we got some fish back there. Got some fish in the live well. So we're doing good so far. But I'm excited because we got the live baits, we got squid, we got everything. Um, we're fishing on a full moon, so we have that old tail working against us. But let's go get out there. Let's see if they're biting. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Let's prove that tail wrong. <laughs> guys not much going on as far as debris bird activity we just got on top of some really gnarly bottoms so what we're gonna do is we're gonna deep drop on the bottom and we're also gonna put out some flat lines in case some mahi comes swimming by so this is what I like to call double dipping we're gonna fish on top and on the bottom we're in like 750 feet hopefully our chances are better sitting than running around because I don't want to waste a bunch of gas today. So we're going to keep it super simple, super easy. So right now I'm working so hard. I'm using my muscles. And I'm trying to figure out where to put this GoPro, <laughs> but I can't figure it out. But what's awesome is we got this electric grill and Here. this, the, oh. And we don't gotta do much. Yep, we got a fish on. One that swims in the sea. Couldn't tell you what it is, just nope. because we're fishing new numbers today. We're looking for new spots. Pulled up here, has some pretty gnarly bottom. So, decided to get to work, drop down a weight. Um, we're using a chicken rig, which is basically a four hook rig. And at the bottom, there's our five pound weight. We got a little light at the top too, just to attract all the fish in. You're the science master, so why don't you just go ahead and explain why we put that light on. So once you go deep enough where we're at 600 feet, or 700, 700 feet, feet. Um, you no longer have any light because it's out of the photic zone. So the light can't reach to the bottom. So in order to attract the fish, like he was saying, you're gonna put a light on it. So the fish see it, think it's bait, smell the bait, eat the bait, and then we get hooked up. Yep. And um, once I'm, you start seeing that rod tip shaking, that's how you know that they know they messed up. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like little twitches sometimes, so you gotta keep a close eye on the tip. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah. Go ahead, you're about to start reeling. Okay. Go. What do we got? What is that? Oh. Swing the rod over? It's a huge. It's a tile fish, I think. What is it? Tile fish. Oh, he just popped off. Oh my god. You just came off the get a gaff. Get a gaff. Hurry up. <laughs> He's slippery. <laughs> get him. Get him. Get him. 
That's oh. the hardest blue line tile fish catch you guys have ever seen oh before. Oh my God, those are some slippery fish. Yep, that's how they are Woo. right there. All right, we got one for dinner. Nice. All right, so as Clay said, we're gonna throw out some flat lines. And the reason why you wanna throw a flat line is not just for mahi, it's anything that eats at the surface. So you can catch a tuna, you can catch a sailfish. We also like to throw out a variety of bait. Some days they like squid, some days they like pilchards. Some days they like artificial. So kinda gotta give them a little bit of everything. I think we got a double. There's another one over there in the front. Oh yeah, look at this. Do we have a double? Woo! That's yours. Yeah, I know, but there's one in the front. One Pick in the front? Up. All right. Oh yeah. This is a good size school. Look at that. I'm oh, I'm about to get bit. About to get bit. Just got picked up. Oh. Oh, he dropped. Oh, got him. Got, got him, baby. Him. Oh, Woo! Double. Just like that. Got him on the flat line. <laughs> And this is why you always want to have a flat line when you're fishing the bottom. So we're deep dropping. We had two flat lines out. Next thing you know, we're both hooked up on dolphin right here. Nice, baby. Oh, yeah. See if his buddy's still there. So you always want to keep, yeah, it is. You no, always, I see yours. I don't oh. see another one with it, though. You always want to keep one mahi in the water because sometimes they'll swim together yep. and you just want to bring them closer to the boat. It's a nice little bowl. Ready? Hold up. I don't Give know if I should, line. should line. flip them. You can flip. Woohoo! Straight in the box, baby. It's what I'm talking about. So right now, that tail is not true because we just got two maki in the box and a towel fish. So fishing after a full moon, tail. Or it hasn't been easy. I think it has a little bit to do with it. However, it's still possible. Got two mahi in the box. That's why, baby. Oh, that's one of the You see him? Yeah. This thing is not working. Here we go. I'm about to get bit. Oh. Wow, look at those. Check that out, baby. <laughs> oh, dude, that is so cool. I don't see any others coming this way, but the thing is, something you guys got to understand when you're out here fishing, this Gulf Stream current is literally a highway for these fish. They're traveling in the current. So what happens is, is when you come out here and you dead boat, you know, you're literally just letting these fish come to you. At the same time, paying attention to our sonar, finding new deep drop spots, just chilling out, hanging in the boat. And that's what's just so cool about coming out here and fishing on these glass calm days. Here we go. The big thing too, guys, always have a place for your fish whenever you're flipping them inside the boat. Because trust me, if that hook pops out, you're gonna have a nice uh, toe ring. But the ring. thing is too, guys, you know, there's no cleanup. All of his blood splatters inside of here in the fish box, and that's it. Sun oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I did not. Good thing it's hot out here. <laughs> <laughs> As we mentioned, we're fishing on a full moon, and the moon lights up the night sky giving the mahi an opportunity to hunt all throughout the night. Once the sun rises, these fish are full and they swim down deep, stop feeding, and they become very lethargic, where mahi are typically very fast and aggressive. However, not every fish had an opportunity to feed throughout the night. So when they see a 40 foot center console drifting in the Gulf Stream, they can't resist coming up to take a look and grab a free pilchard. We began drifting in the Gulf Stream around nine o'clock and we fished until noon. Within those three hours, we caught six mahi and a tile fish. Therefore, I think drifting in the current is probably one of my new favorite ways of fishing. We even had a fish come up and eat our deep drop rig on the surface before we ever even had a chance to drop it down. 
which just goes to show that these fish are fired up and ready to feed if they're willing to approach the boat. However, the day is still young and five mahi and tile is more than enough, so we're gonna make a move to one of the most beautiful spots in all of the Florida Keys. You guys do not wanna miss it. Alright guys, so we just dropped anchor here at Alligator Reef Lighthouse. We're done fishing for the day. We came here to jump in the water, show you guys the reef because it is just beautiful right now. And as you can see, we got some nurse shark friends here. Typically nurse sharks are very docile, but do not be mistaken, they will bite you. I actually had a buddy, oh you see you are trying to bite me right there. They got bit by one of these things and if you get bit, they do not let go. Sometimes. but. This is absolutely insane. This is the type of stuff that you see in the Bahamas, but you know, as you can see here, it literally looks just like the Bahamas. But right here over Alligator Reef, there's a lot of sand around, but there's also these little tiny patch reefs. So there's all kinds of yellowtails, barracudas, hogfish. You just bit my fin right there. But they are fired up right now. <laughs> All right guys, so finally made it here back to the dock. If you notice, the boat is actually not here. We had to put it on the trailer because the tide is so low. When the tide gets really, really low, we can't pull it in here. So we had to revert to putting it back on dry land. But as I can see already, it looks like he's got some nice meat on him. That looks really, really nice. But one thing I do want to mention guys, and I actually think it's pretty impressive. If you notice, my shirt is ridiculously clean. I mean, it's not 100% clean, but it looks pretty dang good for throwing a cast net and going dolphin fishing all day long. And a lot of it definitely has to do with the fact that our shirts are stain resistant. This is what we do, you know? At the end of the day, we're gonna make sure that we're comfortable in what we're wearing um, because that's just the way I am. I don't play around, I like being comfortable. And that's something that's really, really important when it comes to staying out on the water all day long. But that's actually looking really good. That looks just like a snapper if I have to say so myself. I'm really, really excited to try this, see how it tastes. Nothing says tropical more than a mango salsa, and you gotta add the tropical dress to it. So what I included in this mango salsa is obviously mango, then we put some avocado, some cherry tomatoes, cilantro, lime, and then a little salt and pepper to taste. Then, moving on to our fish, this towel fish, we're just gonna go ahead and spice it up with some Cajun spice. We're gonna cook it on the pan, and then just add our salsa on top, and then you got yourself a delicious recipe. And we'll let you know if you should try this out. So I'm actually trying it without the salsa, because I actually want to taste the fish. Mm -hmm. And it is ridiculously good. It's up there on the list. It's right next to mutton snapper mahi, mm -hmm. just as good. And then when you add the salsa on top of it. I just really like the combination between the sweet and the salty 
taste. It's just, I don't know, that's like what my taste buds go to. So I'm really digging this recipe and it's just refreshing as well with the mango. Mm -hmm. I really like it. So I would say A plus for the recipe. Mm -hmm. I would say A plus for the fish. I would say A plus on the day. What an unreal time we had. Yeah, for... so I just really wanted to tell you guys, I'm so happy to have you follow us along this entire journey. I know we say it all the time, but really, like we never thought we would be where we are today. On YouTube. And it wouldn't, we would be nothing without you guys. So we just want to tell you guys, we appreciate mm -hmm. each and every one of you guys so much. Not only that, you know, I just want to spread some love, some positivity. Just know guys, you know, if you're going through anything, you're in a negative situation, you know, mind over matter. You can always pull yourself out. You can always get back up on top. And we hope we can provide some type of mental escape and release through these videos by showing you guys the beauty that we're blessed enough to encounter in our yeah. everyday lives. And we're happy to share that with you guys. So whenever you're feeling down, Put on a Life by the Bow video. And or go fishing. Or go fishing. <laughs> and remember exactly what I said. We love you guys so much. Bye, guys. We'll see you next week.